hi everyone and welcome to my channel so today i have for you a dollar tree haul um i picked up a few items that i thought i would share with each of you so we'll hop right in i'll show you everything that i was able to pick up so um a couple of things are repurchases my granddaughter really enjoys these sunny d orange strawberry drinks and so i do pick these up if you pick them up like this, there's less waste because if you pick them up in the jug, they, in my experience, people tend to over pour and then don't drink it all. But this is just a great amount and they can drink it all or they can put the cap back on it and put it back in the fridge. So for a buck, not bad. Um, and a few other food items that i picked up are these uh stacy pita chips this is parmesan garlic and herb these are really good also picked them up in the simply naked these are good like with dip so got those also picked up these way better chips this one has flax quinoa and um chia chai I don't know how you say that. Ranch, avocado or ranch? Chia? No, oh, that's a chia pet. Oh crap. Chia? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Y'all saw the bag. <laughs> All right, this one has sprouted. Okay, we're not gonna try that again. That's what's in this bag right here. And this is a nacho cheese flavor. So, got those. Next, I got some of these hook and loop fasteners, the cable ties. I thought these might come in handy in the craft room. So, I got those. I found this was really cool. Now, I found this in Bay City. And I haven't seen this in, in any of the other stores that I went to. I just thought it was really cute. So I got it. It's this little banner with the witch's feet. This is really cute tied across the tree. Well, I haven't tried this one, obviously. I haven't put my, my Halloween tree together. Halloween Christmas tree. Um, but these banners look really cute on the trees. So I thought she was super cute. I picked up some more of these breath strips. I like these because they're small. They easily can fit in your purse if you're going um, out somewhere and you're just having like a little clutch. These are so tiny and they just fit really nice in the purse. I picked up another sun catcher that I wanted to add to a Christmas present as a little something fun in there. So I got that. Um, I've been enjoying these Plackers Gentle picks a flexible clean for in between so got those these are one of my favorites um i really like the pizza ones but i picked it up in cheddar cheese these are from i remember having these when i was probably a teenager or so so those have been around for a really good long time I picked up one of these cotton mop heads for, um, they use these for making, um, gnomes. So I picked up some of these. So whenever I decide or get around to making a gnome, I think they're so cute. Um, I will have that already in my stash. I don't know how long it will take me to get to that. Probably won't even happen this year, but I got it for when I'm ready. Picked up these um, little witches hats for decorating. Um, you can uh, take this tinsel off and use jute to wrap it. Um, there's just a lot of different ideas out there on the the airwaves, on the YouTube, on the Facebook of uh, people transforming these. Or you can leave them just as they are and they're really cute like that as well. So picked those up. I got another one of these hands. This one is for my daughter for on her I think you decor. Is that right? Okay. 
Next, I picked up some more of these lashes, these Ioni lashes. My daughter was really impressed with these. These are 100% um, handmade. They are 3D mink lashes. And this one is National Natural Natural Light Wispy. This one is Natural Light Doll. And this is uh, XL Wispy Dramatic. got those i did um purchase her also the um lash glue and she was not impressed with the lash glue and um said you know don't worry about buying that again so i just get her the lashes next i picked up some of the witch's legs um i've seen a few crafts done with these uh, using the um, witch's hat forms and then using these um, you can stuff that leg and it uh, just makes it really cute but you can also hang it on your door just like that so we'll see what I decide to use um, these for and then I got this a really cute sign a lot of people have redone these they have um, cut pumpkins the star the small styrofoam pumpkins that you get i think three in a package and they're styrofoam you can cut those in half and glue them on here pop this leaf and uh, like raffia off you can repaint these and touch them up and just do um a bunch of different crafts with these um just juicing up what's already here this is, I've seen this design at um, Dollar General. They have a sign that's very similar to this. And I think um, Hobby Lobby had a sign that was very similar. Uh, the Hobby Lobby one, I think, was metal. So, anyway, this is just a really cute. So, I did find this two-pack, which I already had to use Um one of them but two pack of scotch tape good little purchase there and then last but not least i wanted to share one of the projects that i put together um i've done quite a lot of projects i'm not sure which ones all i have shared as i'm decorating and i'm getting out all my decor for the fall dining room that i'm working on and the entryway halloween um i'm sure there's more craft shares in there that I haven't shared but I know I don't think I've shared this one so how cute is this guy here he is I got this idea from a lady her um Facebook is called this the silver farmhouse the silver form farmhouse and I, I watch her on facebook i'm not sure if she has a youtube but she made these um she will give you a complete a description um you have to take off this and coffee diet this is the creepy cloth and then i used my cricut to print out the word abu on the tag tied it on so stinking cute um she didn't have use a cricket she made she had some brown tag and she just wrote the word boo on it but i thought i would use my cricket and um these are the tags that i used these crafter square tags to make that and then i just took it this was one i ended up not using because the word boo is too big but you can just start um, getting your sanding block. I sanded it to kind of loosen it up and then I um, kind of wadded it to get it that um, aged look and then I wrote then I added the word boo on it. So 
something cute, something, um, give it a little zhuzhin up as everyone says. So anyway, guys, that is it. That is my haul. Um, just a little bit of items, um, that I had. So I've been trying to make smaller videos, a little shorter videos. So I've divided my stuff up so that um, the videos don't get too long and it's not too overwhelming. So anyway, guys, I hope you're having a terrific day, a terrific week. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And y'all have an amazing day. See you in my next video. Bye.